Hey guys, well I did a tiny bit of work. I uh, got the brake line removed all the way up to that very front cross member. Um, I unburied or unearthed a whole bunch of areas in here, swept it out a little bit, um, disconnected the rear drive shaft and lifted the back end up. So now the, uh, well, before I had 22 inches from ground to frame, <clears throat> the axle is drooping for sure. And now I've got 23 and a half ish, 23 and a quarter maybe. So that's raised up off the ground. So now I'll just cut the U-bolts. I tried, I tried to freaking get them undone, but that's not having any of it. So whatever. Um, I'll get the axle cut out, slid back, and then I can start grinding the uh, mounting bracket off and clean up the the shock mounts and stuff and then uh, I'm thinking what I will do is once I get the axle on top just sitting on those um, I can adjust my pinion angle because right now if I welded them 180 degrees off the pinion angle will be sitting up and uh, that might throw the U joint into some weird vibration or something so I'll uh, get the everything situated I won't tighten it down um, and then I can rotate the pumpkin and, and see what my optimum angle for drive shaft ability is and then uh, I'll tack it pull the axle back out weld them in and then uh, Bob's your uncle Cut off now, I'll just pry the leaf springs up and get the backs up underneath. I'll figure something out. Never mind. I guess Rust was just holding it on. I took my pry bar, got it underneath the uh, underneath here, and rolled it. Now it's all free, all willy nilly. Stop! <laughs> We're good. Well, guys, it was getting way too hot. So as you can see, I didn't cut any or grind any mounts or anything off. Um, now that the sun's gone down, um, it's too late to make a bunch of noise, so I'm going to pull the cover off and, well, I need the oil drained out of it anyway, so I'm going to see how bad that, uh, ring gear and pinion are, because there's a fair bit of slop in it, so we'll see. No, I'm making a video. Or you, you're the inspector. Never mind. You're good. That's way too blunt. I gotta find something sharper. Actually, it looks really clean inside. Holy cow.
somebody might have just not set the pin. Wow, that's a lot of play though. I think just between rotational and and the drive axle, that's freaking weird. Looks like it's meshed correctly. There's no teeth missing, or chunks gone, or nothing. Maybe I just need a, uh, a kit to reset the pinion. Looks like there's springs and stuff in here. I haven't seen that before. I'll show you guys. Yeah, you can see the springs in there. Um, and the one that I had in my Forerunner didn't have springs in it, so I'm wondering if that might be a limited slip. I have no idea. No idea. There's more springs in there. This is definitely different. Definitely different. So, I'll uh, maybe just leave it. I'll tilt the diff up more so it drains. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what we're dealing with. Well, I broke that bolt off, trying to get this pinion out. So I had to hammer on it there. I found a nice tab that I could destroy. So now we'll uh, remove this and see what it looks like. Looks like a little bit of wear on that. Not much. Someone just didn't set the preload on this. And I took out the pinion seal. Wow, these gears are nice. Looks like they did sit for a little bit. I don't know if well you can see that. A little bit right there at the top. No chips or chunks missing. Oh, she looks good. It's just the preload. Garbage, garbage preload. <laughs> Freaking awesome. So that saves me from having to buy a new uh, pinion and ring gear. Awesome. Oops. Now we'll see if I can get this bolt out. Everything's fine in here. This a uh, little bit of rust here. So she's been sitting for a while. I don't know if you guys can see that. Now my hands are all freaking dirty. Let's see if I can. Yeah, right there. Yeah, not very great, but not terrible. So I think I'll just tighten up that pinion a little bit and then uh, it should be good. Nice. That's awesome. I'm gonna have to clean out this housing anyways. Get all the old grimy freaking oil out of it. I had a feeling it was seized uh, just in that the ring on the pinion. I'll show you the bolt and I'll show you why I thought that. Look at that. That's, uh, can you even see it? I can't see it. Too much reflection. Yeah. yeah it just corroded inside. The threads are fine, but uh, not, not so much anything else. And the first bolt I pulled out was also like that. Right there. So I'll uh, be getting some new bolts, and what I'll do is I'll drill out on the pinion over there, um, so it's back to the original size it was, and then use never seize on the threads. That'll prevent it from doing that again. Well, I don't know. Maybe they're missing a shim or something because that crush sleeve is crushed. You can see it in there. It's crushed pretty good. So maybe, uh, maybe they didn't put a shim in, or maybe they tightened it down, crushed the sleeve, and then uh, 
loosened it back off because it was too tight but there's definitely it's not set proper so I think I'm going to actually maybe get a rebuild kit or a pinion maybe even just a crush sleeve I'll, I'll have to pull it apart and check the bearings um, but uh, what do you guys think of this I've uh, not had much luck with diffs setting preload and whatnot so I don't know Anyways guys, that'll do it for today. Give her a like if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe for more 3 plus 3 action, and until next time, take care.